And I've heard a lot about ratings from uh, journalists I spoke to because this is many times uh, the excuse for being uh, lazy. <laughs> um, of course, not you, Richard, or, or the BBC reporters, but it happens a lot. Journalists go, oh, that's what the public wants. That's what people want. What can you do? That's what they want, right? That's where the ratings is. But A, this is not really the case, right? If, if we did only what, what brings ratings, we would open Newsnight and would see porn, right? That's the, the best ratings you can get. We do have professional standards. We do have an idea of what should be the news. And in this sense, I think that um, many journalists, especially journalists under attack in various countries today, need to think not only in the short term, not only about tomorrow's ratings, what we've seen in Israel, for instance, for many years, we saw these far right figures that are very inflammatory and um, spreading these uh, lies, hateful lies and inciting mm -hmm. against uh, certain communities. And they got a lot of airtime because it brought ratings, I guess. That, that's at least the, the conception in the newsroom. In the long run, this gave these figures so much power and they got to positions of power they could never dream of thanks to this exposure and legitimacy that they gained. And then they go after the media. So even in terms of self-preserving uh, news outlets, think long term. Authoritarianism is not good for journalism. So yeah, you'll have your ratings tomorrow, but then next year they will um, bring about these new bills about how you can and cannot practice journalism. They will give these uh, regulatory benefits to news outlets that are trying to imitate Fox News or, or Newsmax or GB News. So I think we should also not um, give people the kind of, not fall for the ratings argument too easily and remember that, that journalism has short-term and long-term uh, interests.